we'll move on over to the tip of the week. And yeah, this is, it's gone through a little bit of a beta stage uh, the last month or so. Uh, and after some feedback, it's in a really solid place. Now we have the instant business data surf uh, service, allowing you to find and import business listings to your uh, website. Uh, David, if it's all right, I can pass over the reins to you and kind of guide us through some of the available features and what this tool is really all about. Yeah, absolutely. So as Jason mentioned, uh, this tool's been out for a little bit now. We've been teasing it in the last couple webinars, uh, but we feel that it's about time now to do a deep dive on the instant business data tool, kind of tell you what it's all about, show you actually how it works, how fast and easy it is to find businesses, import them into your website. So diving right in, what is the instant business data tool. It allows you to instantly populate your Brilliant Directory's website with business listings. So in the UI for this, you can search for businesses based on a variety of criteria, but generally you're going to be selecting the business category, the location of these businesses, and then there's a few other criteria that we'll get into. And again, we'll show you in practice uh, in a demo in just a few minutes here. So with this, it creates an immediate content boost for really any website. If you have a brand new website, it's a great way to quickly add uh, business listings to your website. And then it's also great for existing websites as well if you want to add some additional business listings to your website. Uh, and we'll touch on this uh, in a little bit, but for existing websites, new websites, it works great with the claimable business listings add-on as well. So this can really help any uh, website appear more established, more credible by having those additional business listings, that extra content on your website. And then one additional benefit, because there's a lot of data providers out there where you can buy a list of uh, business contact information from, uh, but compared to those data providers, this has an enormous cost saving. Um, with this, you get 100 free business records. So you can uh, import 100 free uh, business listings to your website. And if you want to import additional business listings, you can purchase additional credits. So one credit is good for one business listing, but the price for those credits is far lower. It, it's really not even comparable to uh, what you would find with some of the other online data providers. But first, going over to some of the more common use cases, this doesn't cover all the bases, but generally speaking, uh, the instant business data tool would best be used for these scenarios. So the first one, like we mentioned, populating a website, whether it's a new or existing BD website, you can quickly fill your site with those business listings, helping to make it appear a little bit more established and seasoned so that when users conduct a search on your website, they're more likely to be presented with search results rather than empty search result pages. Also, like I mentioned, claimable business listings, you can use this with the claimable business listings add-on. So you can pre-populate your website with listings that you find uh, in the instant business data tool. And then uh, you can import them as those claimable business listings, and then you can reach out uh, to them to encourage those businesses to claim their listings, update the information, uh, maybe add photos, publish some content, upsell them to a paid membership plan potentially. Also, you can use this as a prospecting tool. You don't even necessarily need to import these listings into your website and make them publicly accessible. You can use this more as a prospecting tool to uh, identify potential business leads by searching uh, specific business categories and locations, and then you can reach out to those businesses for uh, partnerships or sales opportunities or for whatever other purpose uh, you might have in mind. And then the last thing here is exporting this business data for other uses. So you can utilize the instant business data tool to find businesses, again, in specific business categories and locations. And then you can export that data and import that data then into any other third party, uh, maybe marketing platform or any other platform uh, to utilize that data in some other way. You know, so you can find specific businesses in uh, specific categories utilizing this tool and then export that list and then import it, say, into a marketing uh, platform to really create some more dedicated, more in-depth marketing campaigns uh, for whatever your uh, specific purpose might be. And so here's really how it works. Um, it's actually a lot simpler than this slide makes it seem, uh, which is already pretty simple, but it's really just two steps. It's not even three steps. First one is you search for businesses. So you select the business category 
You select the location of the businesses. And this doesn't just have to be in the United States. You can search any country, any state, any city. You can also select to make sure that the business records include an email address, a phone number, and or a website URL for the business. And then, as I mentioned, there's also an option to select whether or not these uh, business records were updated within the last 30 days or not. So if you select that, you'll likely have a better chance of getting uh, business records that, uh, with contact information that is more uh, up to date. So once you do that, you'll be presented with a number of business records that match your search criteria, and then you can select to import them. And there's a few settings that go along uh, with the importing. You're going to want to assign them to a membership plan on your website, set a status for them if these uh, members, these businesses will be active or inactive. You can also assign a tag to these members, these businesses, just to keep better track of them in the back end in the admin area. And then also you can assign them with a, uh, a member category. And that's really it. After that, you just click the import button and it's all done for you after that. Yeah, and really the the genesis for creating this tool, um, you know, our sales team chats with a lot of people interested in starting directories and it's always a chicken or the egg question. Like, okay, I have this idea for a directory, like how, why are members going to join if nobody is on my site um, or you know, do I have to add data so my site looks seasoned before I start marketing my members? So now you can kind of hit the ground running. You know, you don't need 10 million records on your site. You just need enough to, in my opinion, make the site feel that it's established, it's seasoned. And I'll show you some tips and strategies on how to achieve that beyond uh, just the importing the listings here. And, and what you said, David, that this should just be two steps. It reminds me of like an instant cup of coffee. Step three should just be sip and enjoy. So let's uh, actually go and see how the instant business data tool works. I have shared a link uh, to that. And just because you guys are on the webinar as well, uh, this month uh, we're dropping just because it's like the big grand uh, grand reveal of this now. Uh, you can use the promo code get credits and it will drop the prices if you need more um, or whatever you need. It'll drop whatever the prices are in half. So the price per record will essentially be cut in half. Uh, so I shared that link there. Uh, so let's do this. Let's see this tool in action and where you'll find this tool. And I know some of you are already familiar with this as you go to the business data link under my members. And again, up here, um, you know, again, we're dealing with data, aggregated data. Um, so sometimes there are uh, some in inaccuracies and things like that. But for the most part, uh, it is striving uh, and finding accurate data. So over here, when you get to this page, uh, you have your filters here, and there's over 4,000 categories that you can search business data with. And the more preferred attributes we see down here uh, that you want uh, to for the system to try to include, it'll find a smaller sample. If you want to be a little more lenient, uh, you can uncheck these and not require these preferred attributes and it will find more business records. So I'll show you an example of what that looks like. Um, and also all businesses have one primary category, but they can have many related categories. So for example, this is important. If we search for a uh, coffee shop, that should be one here. If we search for coffee shop, um, a restaurant might also be a coffee shop, but it might not be its primary category. So again, to open up the search a bit more, if you're not getting um, a good volume of results, um, I my favorite thing now is to search the related category match because it seems to be doing just fine. It's everything is still on point. But if we search for coffee shop with the primary category, oh, and let's actually just refresh this page real quick. All right, search for coffee shop again. Primary category, we'll just search all of the United States. And you can search worldwide with this. So there's 3,600 with the primary category as coffee shop. If we go to related, we're going to see more results. We More than double, there's 8,800. So this could be someone that their primary category is a bakery. But in the bakery, they also serve coffee, just like a coffee shop. So that's kind of how that works. And then if we uncheck 
the preferred attributes that we'd like the, uh, the system to include, we should see even more results. Now we have 95,000 results found. So if you're really looking to populate your site with a larger volume of data and accuracy, you know, the updated, you know, in the last 30 days and all that stuff is not that important. You're just going for volume. Uh, you can uncheck these and you will go for volume. As you see, we went from, I think, 3,000 to 95,000. But if we just do the last 30 days, we can uh, remove like website URL and phone number. We're down to 16,000. So 16,000 of the records have been updated in the last 30 days. And updated means they may have come back. They may have updated their phone number. Uh, they may have added a logo image. Um, they may have added a space to their name or added like ink for incorporated, something small. So it just means that they logged in to make an adjustment. It doesn't mean that the entire profile information was, was modified. But let's see this in action now. Let's also do one more thing. Let's look for a smaller location like Los Angeles. And we'll, I like keeping all these checked. So there's 89 coffee shops in Los Angeles where we have the an email address, phone number, website URL. Um, now, with the credits, I have 25,000 uh, credits available. There's 89 records found. I don't have to import all 89 records. I could save my credits for other categories and, and uh, searches that I want to do. So let's just import five right now. And these are the settings David was sharing. We can assign them a membership plan. So maybe we have a claimable listing membership plan we want to assign them to. Um, their status, if they're going to be active or not active, maybe for some reason we want to add them, but not have them found publicly on the site just yet. And then we can assign an internal tag. So if we want to segment these uh, members later, we need to do a bulk action, like change their category and whatnot. We can uh, do that uh, by uh, attributing a internal tag for them. Uh, and then what do we want to do with the category? Do we want to add members to an existing category? Do we want to create a brand new top level or sub level category? In this case, I'll just create a new top level category and we'll go ahead. It's going to ask us to confirm the import and it's going to take time, especially with larger volumes. It's, it's relatively quick, but once it starts the import, it's going to scour and look for logos. It's also going to geocode the records so they could be found if you're searching location on uh, your site. So let's just give this a second and you can also close this page. It'll continue working. So if you have like 25,000 that you're doing, you can just come back in about 15 minutes or so or whatever it is. Uh, and they should be all updated. Um, I know that it, it did get most of them already, even though it shows that they're in queue. Let's go to the search members page on this site. Great. This is processing. Looks like it's processing for the logo still. Yep, it's finding the logos. Okay, it said task complete. Let me hard refresh this page here. Okay, great. So um, it got some logo. It wasn't able to get some profile photos here. Uh, that's okay though. Uh, Paris Baguette. So it's created a listing for it. Let's go to view profile. And we can see here, um, this is now a coffee shop in Los Angeles. You have it on your site and it's created this really nice bio using the information that was available. Um, and yeah, this should have a stronger chance of ranking uh, in Google. Uh, it also, funny enough, it, it uh, counted McDonald's, I guess McCafe, uh, it counted that as a coffee shop, but uh, this is just one example here. Now to take this to the next level, and I'm actually gonna do a category I like searching is pets. So if you're gonna do, let's do this together here. You type in pet, really all the categories you need for a pet directory are here. So pet care, pet care services, cemetery groomer, moving services. And if you were gonna do this in one region like or a state like California, you can basically have your directory set up and seasoned uh, in one shot. So uh, let's just look at uh, pet care services. Let's actually open it up to not Los Angeles city. Let me put the United States here. Okay, 420 found here. I'm going to import five of these. And I'm going to show you what I like to do with these to kind of as you're adding them to your site. So let's add them to membership plan one. We'll create a top level category if it doesn't exist. And what I'm going to do here is go to membership plans. And I'm going to edit membership plan one. And there is the add on to highlight members in the search results. So we can go to search visibility here. And I'm going to want to highlight these members and I want the text to say featured uh, with this with this green text here and we'll hit save changes. 
Let's see if this import is just about done. And I'm going to look at this, this round of pet adoption services. And what I'm going to do is add the next round uh, to membership plan two without the featured badge. Um, so here we have this one got the profile image, created a blurb of text here. And if we go to pet adoption services, we can see here these guys are featured. These are some other ones that I imported before. But what you can do is you can import five of them to your highest tiered plan or so and give them this badge, but then come back here and do the exact same search. You know, import another five and assign them to another membership plan, like membership plan two that may not have that badge on them. So adding this variation to your site uh, can help show that it's not just imported lists. There's something there's something unique or different happening on the site because some of the members are appear to be featured on your site. So uh, we can let it import this. And this was just from a previous import I did, but if I refresh this page now, and there's a ton of feature, but we see here, these are the ones that are not featured here. So if you just had featured like three or four of them, so they stay bubbled at the top, and then the rest of them were like membership plan two and they were claimable listings, you know, claim this listing and things like that. Now you, or, and make some of them not claimable listing or, you know, just add some variation as you're importing batches of listings. Uh, it can make it seem more than you've just added data to your site. Uh, but David, am I missing anything else here that I should mention about this tool for now? I think so far it's great, but if people use this tool and they use up all 100 of the free credits, how would you go about adding additional credits? Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, um, you can click this button here to add import credits. You'll be presented with uh, the options uh, to do so. Um, and then again, you just follow it here, but don't just do that. Like here, if you're going to do the 10,000 records, um, let's go. What was the promo get credits? You can use the promo code get credits and it literally just takes off 50% here for the month. So if you want, you know, if you're thinking about doing this for your site, I think like 5,000 is plenty, especially for a local site or a site in a spe specific niche. Um, and again, it's going to help with your SEO. It's going to help with visitors coming to your site and having a better experience. And when you show the site off to people, you know, you can have more diverse categories actually filled with members rather than waiting for members to come and join your site uh, manually, which is the second part of this is once it's seasoned, then you could start your marketing. And like I said, you can show people, you know, we have Adonis pet grooming is featured. You should be featured when you're doing your real marketing to real people out in the world. Um, so those are just some tips there for you. Anything else we should cover here, David? I think that covers it. It's, it's really a well-rounded tool. It makes it super easy to add data to your website, make it look a little bit more established. I think that was a great tip of featuring a handful of them. Even if maybe they you've already reached out to them, they haven't responded yet, still featuring them is just another thing that makes uh, makes this and makes your website look like it's a little more active than it might actually be.